welcome to um, the segment of sports on U45 show. I am Francisca. Well, but on the show today, COVID-19, we take a look at um, PTF um, chairman saying that forget sport for now in the country, Nigeria. Also, Kadri, he kind of backs local coaches for um, Super Falcons um, coach, coaching job. Okobi also has on Nigerian women football league development ahead of equal pay and we take a move all the way um, from the local scene and go to and the foreign scene where we did see La Liga back yesterday and um, Sevilla against um, Real Betis and um, Sevilla defeating Real Betis by two goes to nothing. Also, we look at the German Bundesliga. All of this we will be discussing in the course of the show today. I am not alone in the studio. I am joined by the fellow ladies, my fellow friends, colleagues and sisters in um, the industry. Good morning, ladies. Ijoma and um, Okwayemi. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Happy good democracy morning. day today. Yes. 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 Happy yeah. democracy day. Yeah. Ah, but the question well. is, are we really practicing democracy? Mm. We are. We are trying. We are practicing demo. Uh, we are trying. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm suspecting the both of you. These girls, I'm suspecting these ladies. I'm suspecting them. Anyways, and um, we're talking sports and not um, current affairs. So just let's quick um, let's um, kick start in this one. Ijama, we read a story um yesterday. The PTF, that's the presidential and tax force um, chairman, the person of um, Mustafa. He has come out to say that Nigerians should forget um, sports as we speak currently. Is that the way forward? When other leagues, uh, other, other countries leagues, exactly. are starting off their leagues, um, we are here still um, daily darling as to if we ever go back to the NPFL. NPFL, we've been clamoring for it to come back. Now, I read the reasons he gave why we should not restart the league. And he said, uh, how can 20 persons come to the stadium when the directive from the government says not um, less, more than 20 or more than 50 people? Mm. Now I asked myself, I asked you that question before we came mm. on set. I mm. said, how many people go to the stadium to even watch? Take away the exactly, nuts. Exactly, yeah. Take away the nuts because when you go to the nuts, people actually go to watch, watch. football. I when we go to the Gege Township Stadium, how all many? the time, you can pick how yeah, many people. It's just with John who, this major. Yeah. Who comes to watch the game? Now, why can't you just start the league and let's play behind closed doors? That would be the best thing to happen to us now. Mm. But nobody's talking about reopening the league. Mm. It's, it's funny. The EPS starts. La Liga is ongoing. But this league, you know, every other major league in the world has started. Mm. So why are we still where we are? Why would football even develop in Nigeria with things like this? Well, uh, why will football develop in Nigeria with things like this? But like Ijoma said, he mentioned a lot of things and he talked about maybe we're not having the capacity of restarting or reopening the league. Remember, it's not just um, the Nigerian professional football league. There is also clamor for Edo 2020. So now the boss has come out to say Nigerians should forget um, anything sports um, in the country. Don't you think this man is saying the right thing of when especially the uh, adult 2020 francisca thank god you asked me that question because i, I just want to as in i'm vexing i want to answer question but thank, so. thank you thank you for <laughs> asking me no, thank you for asking me one. for me for me i think he knows what he's saying because mm. we we are not ready mm. we are talking about the epl reopening the la liga opening do we have what it takes to open? That's just a we thing. don't. That's they dis disinfect the okay, stadium. We... They did so many things. Okay, wait. I wait, the Ijoma. Testing the too. testing. Uh, do we have that money? We have do we have the capacity yes. so that they will now come and start telling us that okay, oh, we they want one budget, one twenty two million budget mm. or billions of them to do something? No. No, I'm, for I'm me, shocked. For me, for me, IJ, for me, I want the league. I want football to come back. Mm in nigeria but do we have what it takes that is my question that's okay what, we don't. what it takes is testing players exactly, isn't it yes that's can't what it takes it, 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 it takes more than that it's just one of those things i mentioned the players. okay no, 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 talking no, about disinfecting the stadiums mm -hmm. and the like mm. it is not a big deal when you go to the government oh, government funds IJ, IJ, IJ. no 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 government again government again okay but who funds football in nigeria wait now even the football they are funding do you think governments will bring our money to do this? If 
If that's the question. That is why I'm still saying that we will not develop our football. We are not. We have not even developed. If we no, are not developed, no, but we are. We are. We are step there. Well, you know, no, no, we are not Africa, even a step at all. We are just trying. If you take South Africa away, we are our lead to other leagues. No, I do not. Hold on, ladies. This is really getting heated up, like in the studio. Maybe this time around, we're going to put our phone lines out there in case you want to contribute to this one, especially the PTF chairman coming out to say that Nigerians should forget anything sporting activities in the country. Do you think it's a right turn to the right direction? Has he really come out to uh, make sense in the sense that he's saying that we don't have the capacity when it comes to testing players and a whole lot of things. So call us with the numbers showing on your screen right there and share your contributions. Away from that, because if we continue with our conversation, we won't even talk about every other thing because we have a lot of things to talk about in this show so a lot of uh, away from that let's look at this one Kadri Ikana has come out to back um, local coaches for the Super Falcons of Nigeria um, Ijoma I don't know um, a lot of people are saying oh we should get a foreign coach why some people are saying get a local coach for now Kadri Ikana has come out to say local coaches are better um, when it comes to getting a job for the Super Falcons of Nigeria do you agree with him? I do not agree and all respect to the great coach Kadri Ikana mm. himself um, with the exploits he's done with Ayuba. So he has the knowledge, he knows what he's saying. Exactly. But if you ask me, I still remember, and I will say it anywhere, any day, we need a foreign coach. Mm. Yes, let's even give all the kudos to the local coaches that have gotten us all well. of the AFCON trophies. Exactly. We've won nine, and eight of those trophies are from local coaches, and one is from Thomas Denebi. Yes, if you want to look at their pedigree, they've done well for us. But then he is saying that when you get a local coach to coach these guys, that they live with us there, they know what the girls are going through, they know what the girls are doing, that, that. no, that is not what we are saying. If you help us to conquer Africa, mm. what happens when so we the go war, to the World exactly. Cup? We need a coach that will give us the current practices, all due respect to him. But I still believe we should get a foreign coach and then bring a local coach to assist him. Mm. At least just like what we are doing with just the like Super Eagles of yes, Nigeria, um, um, Genetro and also um, Salisu Yusu. And in then Yobo is and in that Yobo and all of that. Yeah. Well, yeah. that is um, IJ's um, opinion. She says that she disagrees um, with Kadri Canada. Um, a foreign coach will be better for the super uh, super falcons of Nigeria. Moving away from that, let's go into this one. Okbe Okobi, remember her, Ngazi Okobi, she's come out to say that um, Nigerian women football league development ahead of um, equal pay. She's coming out to request for equal pay. That's what you're giving to the men category. Also give to the female category. Do you th think that um, we see the light of the day in the country? Hmm. It will be a very, very <laughs> odd one because before she came out, um, we had Opara Nozi. She, she came out and said the same thing, but after what she said, even, we've not been seeing her frequently on, in, the, in the team mm. after she, when she voiced out. But for me, I think it's a good idea. I think it's something nice. She's coming out to say her mind, which is not bad, in my own opinion. Uh, I, but I don't, I don't, like you said, we need to see the light of the day. In Nigeria, I, I I don't think so. But let's keep talking. Let's let's keep anticipating if and only if because it would be a good idea. Mm. It would be a good one because they are doing very well. They've they've done a whole lot, even more than the male team. Mm -hmm. So they need to get equal pay. For me, it's, it's a good idea. Ijoma, away from Nigeria, do you think even across the globe, do you think that can still um, suffer and suffice? Uh, you, you know when um, 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 the US won the World Cup, mm. it was um, on that pen that they were trying to push. Exactly. Let's get equal pay mm. with the main national team. But then they went to court, they failed, because um, some of their laws in the female um, the female rule in the country well, was against them in court. But wow. if you ask me, um, the female national team, yes, even in Nigeria, um, they've won more laurels, more medals for the country. I agree with you. Um, but what Okobi was really saying was, yes, it would be a welcome idea if we would get an equal pay. But that isn't her problem. Her problem is, let us look inward and have a good structure and mm. develop our team. Mm. Then if 10 years from now, mm. you want to talk about equal, equal pay, pay, then, then it will be making sense to her. Even when Opera Noze was saying um, the equal pay stuff, she was saying, yes, we need to get that. But our problem now is to get the female structured. And I think I agree with what they're saying. Mm. Structure the female team. Let's get development from it. Because we are exporting more players. Exactly. Has played, the for uh, yeah, for every, every other players, African yeah, player. So your your you. dream is valid. If she can play in Spain, um, Opera Nose can play uh, in um, 
in France. Oh, Bongo, yeah. Yeah. Before she left. Francisca Odega then playing Francisca, in China. Other yeah, so I our agree. female league, we are the biggest exports when it comes to female, female players. To players. Be wow. So why don't we come back and restructure our team before we begin to talk about it properly? Like I said, <laughs> let's just keep <laughs> hoping that it will happen. In the light of the uh, sorry, sorry to, to, to cut you short. You know, we, we talk about the Pelican stars last um, over there and um, so it all it starts from there. Mm. It starts from there. We can mm. we cannot say, we, can't we, say want pay to, we want to build the house and we mm. don't have a foundation. Mm. So let's just keep hoping. You have a point. You ladies have a point. Yes, it's all about restructuring the league. Then if that is being done, then they can begin to buy for um equal pay. Still sticking with you, um Ijoma, we saw this one and it's a good news for us. Another Nigerian athlete cheats death in an auto crash. We're talking about Uchena Opara, Opara Oji in this one. So yesterday there was an accident, but eventually, thank God, he survived. At yeah. least we've seen a lot of accidents seen, and at the end of the play, and or at the end of the day, um, they don't get to survive. But this one, he survived. I think uh, well, we, we have to, to thank God. We want to return all the praise to God because this year it was we've lost um, players from the NPF. Exactly. Um, yeah. It was on a Sunday that we lost and the Inugu Rangers and guy, player, you know. Yeah. So um, this guy may not be known. He's um, ranked third in the Nigerian Lawn Tennis Federation. Mm. And he may not be known, but for him to make the news, it's not just because we don't know him, but because exactly. he's an athlete in Nigeria. He's somebody who has cheated death. And we just want to return all the praise to God. We are not seeing another death from another Nigerian player. Oh, uh, so that's it. Yeah, me. that's just the thing. So thank God that he survived um, that accident um, yesterday. Okay, away from that, Okay, um, let's look at this one. These high grades will make top 10 in the world, says um, their coach Akato. You agree with him? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's, a, uh, it's not something we should even talk about because they've, they've done well. They qualified for the 20, um, 2020 wins now, what, which has now which been, been, been moved to 2021. due to COVID. They have, they have been doing fantastic, they have been, they have been putting Nigeria in, uh, in the world. Front and it's, it's a good one. Uh, making making them um, top, top ten in the world. In the world, not in it's Africa. Not, it's not a in Joma, it's not a <laughs> in the world, not in Africa. Uh, Francisca, in fact, in the whole wide world, <laughs> we, they will make it. You see these <laughs> I targets? Love, I love no, this. I, I I I love them. They are my new. Uh, uh, they are my uh, new. Look at it now. Success the success now is bringing. No, for me, I think Akato. Um, Let's even start with how Evelyn came into the team. She yeah. was a third and pick from her team mm. in the US in Dallas, and she was a third and pick draft. And her interest into the national team has been massive. Going from winning the league, um, the Afro Basket back to back, yeah. you know, going from top 20 mm. and not aiming for top, top 10. 10. Currently, we are ranked 14 in the world. When it comes to basketball in Africa, give it to Senegal, male and female. Mm. Now Nigeria, because the Senegal basketball is their number one sport, just yeah. like football is it's our number, number one in here. So if I rubbing our shoulders with the likes of Senegal and then looking at that top 14 and going for top 10, that, that would just be the biggest dream for Nigeria mm. right now. When we hit the top 10, then we can prepare better to go to the world, to the Olympics. We'll qualify for the Olympics. No doubt about that. Make history about yeah. it. And now these girls, uh, the joy of it is that Two thirds of the girls are playing in the US. Yeah, Have you seen it. how beautiful, so, very beautiful our female national basketball team is? Can we get that? Uh, are they more no, beautiful than are, the female um, no, we can't footballers? Even compare. We can't even compare. All they're all beautiful, all beautiful, beautiful in their ways, but <laughs> these girls are beautiful. They are brilliant just... in their play. No, I know that. I know that was sarcastic. I know that was sarcastic. That was I didn't even. But seriously, we've got beautiful ladies in the in, in the national, in the national have you seen, team have seen, football. Uh, have you seen Anozi? Uh, have you seen? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Francisca, Odega, as um, yeah. Oshola. Oshola. All of them are beautiful. But these female girls, they, cannot be they are giving me the joy <laughs> in the whole world. <laughs> if not for anything, for the fact that they play together in the same league, and we have a fusion of some of the players from yeah. um, playing in Nigerian league mm. to um, that team in the, in the national team. For me, um, I think they will see the top 10. If they do well at the Olympics, mm. I think they will rank between maybe from 1 to 7. I'm seeing, I'm not a prophet of doom to. Mm. From mm. all of, I'm giving them all of the accolades that they deserve. These okay. girls will go far and wide. Okay, they will go far and wide. That is what the ladies are saying here in the studio. Ah, we just hope to see that um, um, make um, happen because as we speak currently, they are ranked um, 14th, like um, Ijoma has 
and rightly stated so let's see if they will eventually uh, make a um, top 10 in the world and if they do it's going to be a very um, good thing coming for um, Nigeria. Away from that, Ijoma, I want to still stick with you. We saw this one and we're so we're super excited with it. A woman getting an appointment in this one. We're talking about Nkechi Obi. She's get she's got appointments as um, deputy coordinator on youth and sports in the country. And Kechi Obi for me has been um, one person I've looked up to. Mm. One day I used to say one day I'll take her seat. Mm. I may not have the voice because she has she is so wow, beautiful. She looks I may not have her voice. Yeah. She has this cracked voice. And when she's speaking, you will just be like, oh, why is this woman taking all of this authority? Mm. Those days in our national career, national mm. TV, I used to say in Kechobi, I used to say, one day I'll take her seat. And I'm not surprised because we may not be seeing her on the screens anymore. But yeah. she has been doing wonderfully well. Underground. She is um, a consultant for the Nationwide National Review. Yeah. Um, now, this new appointment under the Utah Sports, for me, women are taking over. Folade, um, uh, Aisha Folade has really opened um, that bright for doors for a lot for of them, women for yeah. to walk through. For Nkechobi, I, I wasn't surprised seeing her get this appointment. I just want her to continue in her stride, not to be corrupted, because once you enter there, if you don't keep, you can't beat them, you join, you them. join them. But she's somebody who has, you know, gone through the ladder. She has been able to climb those stairs, and she's where she is now doing well. I, I just uh, feel that she should use this position to just do better for um, our football or our sports in general, because yeah. it's... Um, sports is not um, wonderful. Yeah, basketball, it's just sports general. sports generally. But do you know my concern, IJ? This is not coming because we, we we read the story and we're like, this is not coming from the Ministry of Sports. It's coming from under another ministry. Yeah, and I'm, be, I'm, begin, I'm beginning to ask, is it is it that we like doing um, putting um, square pegs um, yeah, in round holes? Or, <laughs> because ordinarily, I, when I saw the story, I was like, oh, Probably this um, lady will definitely be assisting um, Sunday Diary mm. in, in terms of sport development and everything. But coming from national planning and budget and planning, is there a correlation? I don't maybe know. They, maybe there should be because um, they said under the coordinator for sports from youth youth development from national budget and planning. I mean, like I'm confused. We are confused. Why is it coming from national budget and planning? I. I when there is a ministry of sports, but there's a minister. Sports, there's a minister. I saw um, youth and development. I've been like, okay, so long um, we are still saying the same thing. Uh. It doesn't matter if you fly, <laughs> if you flew to Atlanta or come by road or. Uh, so long is a sports. Let's just. And so long. Let's uh, and yeah, yeah, and so long is a woman that is being appointed. This is what we more are women actually, in the more, cabinet. Yeah, more women in the cabinet. Yeah, that's it what speaks we are going for. Well, mm -hmm. we may, we want uh, more women to be an advocate um, of sports. Mm -hmm. We just want to see women doing great things mm -hmm. in sports. And this is an opportunity this for one them. Um, this is one of them, an opportunity for Nkechi Obi. We wish her all the best as she gets her appointment as the deputy and coordinator on youth and sport um, for the country, Nigeria. Away from that, I want to be talking to you at this point in time of where this one we're going to boxing. And finally, finally, what we are looking for eventually has come out to play. Joshua um, and um, Tyson Fury actually reached a, a financial agreement for um, two world title fights. Finally. Mm -hmm. Finally. You know, it has, it has, um, we've, we've, been, we've been wanting to see a fight as in, um, as in. from Joshua and and Tyson Fury. Fury. Uh, it's long waited. After, like. after um, Tyson Fury fought um, Dante Wider. Mm -hmm. So everybody has been anticipating the one we want to see again, Joshua and Tyson, Tyson Fury. Fury. And we, we never thought it was going to happen because too soon. Too, we knew it was it going was, to happen. It was but too mm. sudden. It mm. was too soon. And, you know, Joshua coming out, um, Tyson Fury coming out yesterday to say, hey, I'm, 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 I'm ready to fight. Anthony Joshua and Joshua to confirm it, and they are still thinking it's not go it's going to be out of um, UK. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are thinking yeah. out of the UK and, yeah. and so US. So somewhere in Dubai or thereabouts. It's going to be a good fight. We are we are we are waiting to see, you know, the combination. Some people have been saying Joshua can't fight mm. Fury. Fury, Fury can't can fight, fight Joshua. Joshua. 
you know. <laughs> so we are we are we are we are waiting to see the fight, and it's going to be a, a massive one. Well, it's going to be a massive one, but you're thick in this one, um, yeah, in Joma, you can see I've been because uh, <laughs> I've been waiting. yes, date is yet to be confirmed, <laughs> venue is yet to what? be confirmed. Any but for the fact that both of day. them have agreed to fight each other, what Franca, are your expectations? That fight is between <laughs> 12 a.m. and. 5 a.m. My pastor just knows. Oh, praise the Lord! You are not I'll going to church. To, no, no, there won't be. Two. The, the vigil will be for Anthony Joshua to bring home the money. It, it we've been waiting for this mm. too soon. Yeah. I didn't believe it was going to happen too yeah. soon. But for the fact that it's even happening, I don't want to. I'll be rooting for Anthony just because he's a Nigerian. But for me, Fury is a fantastic boxer. He's got all of the finesse I've been waiting for for Anthony to just try his hands on. And now this is happening. I uh, can't wait. Uh, Mind you, Fury is, is, is English. He's not well, Nigerian. No, I um, said Anthony. Anthony, Anthony is Joshua. Not, he's not Nigerian. He's, he's a Nigerian. He's from Ijebo. Don't even stop come there. The last time he came to Nigeria, he went to Ijebo. And he ate uh, a bagari jebu. No, he let's not even. He let's ate, not go there. He ate gari jebu. He also ate one egg. Um, can egg can you? Can you? And he kokore. <laughs> in case you don't can know. You so you what are you saying? You should be deceiving can yourself. You what are you saying? Is, somebody will say British, Nigerian, British. No, when he's doing well, he's thing. Nigerian, British. When Stop he's, all those things. Joshua is from Anthony. Joshua is from, England. England. Okay. Is from Nigeria. Okay. Yes, um, Britain also partially from Nigeria. So whatever you are saying, I don't understand. So okay. if eventually he wins the money, of course, will come to Nigeria. But I'm really concerned about the financial angle of that fight, but we won't really dig deep in it today because we've got a lot to talk about, especially now that we are moving all the way to um, um, football. Um, we saw the game yesterday. Finally, um, La Liga um, is showing on the screen. This is what everyone um, is waiting for. But you know, the biggest one is the EPL that is going to take um, place starting from next week. But quickly, let's talk about La Liga. We saw the game yesterday. Yeah. Um, Ijoma, Sevilla against Real Betis. And Sevilla defeating Real Betis by two goals to nothing. Uh, for me, I think... Um, you saw that coming. Finally. Mm. Yeah, you are, uh, of course, against mm. um, Sevilla. Why not? But um, Real, Real Betis, sometimes they, they spring surprise. Yeah, that. especially when they're on the road. You know, when mm. they're on the way, they mm. try to, you know, just spring up the surprises we are looking for. But um, let's let's just give it to them. It's the very first time. Um, um, game back and um, Sevilla will want to claim supremacy which they already did um, yeah. from last night but the joy is that um, um, the La Liga is back to our screen um, 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 the Bundesliga is back on our screen um, the EPL is coming back to our screen so for me um, it will still be a tussle between um, um, Barca and of course uh, um, <laughs> the, it, it has to just be oh, between yeah. Barca and Real Madrid and, uh, and then let's okay. um, for the fixtures for today, we have the likes of Granada playing Getafe and Valencia against Levante, and we will we'll move to um, German Bundesliga. So it's March day 31 in the in Germany in German Bundesliga. A lot of people have said, "Oh, give the title to Bayern Munich because seven points clear." I think that is done and dusted. But hey, there are still fixtures that will um, take on um, this Saturday and also Sunday. Quickly, let's take this one: Ophium against RB Leipzig um, today. Does it against Borussia Dortmund? Then we have the likes of FC Colombia against Union Berlin, Eta Berlin who will up against Enchang Frankfurt and Katadon who are currently at the bottom of the table who will up against Werder Brome then and Freiburg playing away from home against um, Wolfsburg and we have Bayern Munich that is the table um, leaders, table toppers and they will play the likes of Borussia and Mönchengladbach. Just a quick one before we call it a wrap um, today um, Ijom, um, Okpe, Ijoma which, which one is your? Um, which one will be um, the peak of the pack? So the Bayern Munich against Borussia Dortmund, or um, um, Dortmund uh, against yeah. um, Borussia Mönchengladbach, or yeah. um, Borussia Dortmund against and Dust and Dust They are both playing. Borussia yeah. Dortmund playing away from home, Bayern Munich playing in front of their fans. Uh, are we going to see something different this time around? Not, nothing much different. We all know Bayern Munich is going to is going to do something. Do we say it's to, over? It has been. It has been. It has been today to be ten points clear. Mm. So it has been over since the day um, Dortmund played Bayern Munich and they couldn't, you win. know, do win. something yeah. about it. So I think the the league is over in in the um, Bundesliga. Definitely, Bayern Munich is going to win and. Dortmund is going to be beat um, Dusseldorf. Um, okay, and um, finally, Ijoma, there is a Coppa Italia. Yeah, Coppa Italia um, against 
Then semi finals and return leg today, UV up against um, AC Milan. Mm -hmm. And remember the first leg, um, Cristiano Ronaldo and Pena mm -hmm. and made that um, um, tie 1 1. And today the second leg comes off, and um, we we'll hope to see what will happen. If you ask me, I think I'm um, UV all the way. But it was a hard tackle on um, February 13th when the first leg um, was um, played. And um, for today, um, anybody who wins, I want to tip on um, UV to go to so win against you know, um, to win uh, against a similar. A similar. Yeah. Okay, let's see how that will pan out. Remember, um, this afternoon show the ones that will the stories so will not touch will definitely touch them in the afternoon, especially um, the EPL that is set to kickstart um, sometimes um, next week. Thanks. Thank you very much, ladies, for being part of the show today. Thank Let's you. do this again um, next week. Of course, of course. We will. We'll be here, but yeah. young girls willing. Okay, yeah. that's where we'll be drawing um, the curtain for today. It's a wrap on the show today. And for you out there, thank you so much for watching. Remember that COVID-19 is real. So you know what? Stay safe. Until then, I remain Francis Kamobu. It's bye for now. Have a pleasant day.